Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the Solend dashboard on Token Terminal. Solend is a non-custodial lending protocol built on Solana and the first Solana-based application to be listed on Token Terminal. On Solend, lenders deposit funds into the protocol and receive interest payments from borrowers. To learn more about a protocol, you can always click the info button right here. Here at the top of the dashboard, we can find both the most relevant financial metrics and the price data for Solend. And right below that, in the key metrics section, we can compare different metrics and look at their historical performance. Now, please note that the current data for Solend starts from March 9th, and we're working on adding the complete historical data set as soon as possible. Solend's total revenue consists of loan origination fees and interest fees. As of March 17th, Solend is generating just under $62,000 in total revenue. And borrowing volume, so outstanding loans, are sitting at a bit over $350 million. And the total value locked, so the value of assets supplied minus assets borrowed, is sitting at just under $624 million. In general, the key metrics chart is great for analyzing the relation between any of these metrics. We can also view the price to sales ratio, which is the relation between the fully diluted market cap and the annualized total revenue, and the price to earnings ratio, which is the relation between the fully diluted market cap and the annualized protocol revenue. Now, to understand the difference between total revenue and protocol revenue, we can scroll down to the revenue composition chart. As a lending protocol, Solend can be compared to the likes of Aave and Compound, but it's important to note that as of right now, the business models are different. Where Aave and Compound generate protocol revenue via interest rate spreads, Solend makes its protocol revenue by taking a cut of loan origination fees. This is a fee that is charged upon the origination of a new loan. You can see the total amount of origination fees paid here as protocol revenue in dark blue. And as the origination fee is tied to the amount of new loans being taken out, we can see that it varies quite a bit from day to day. This is the situation as of right now, and in the future, a spread fee of 10% the borrow rate will be added to Solend to potentially replace the origination fee. This change would make Solend's business model similar to those of most other lending protocols. Supply side revenue, on the other hand, is made up of the interest fees paid by borrowers, which are paid entirely to supply side participants. Moving on to the composition chart, we can analyze which assets are being borrowed on Solend. We can, for example, see that Solana is the second most borrowed asset and that stable coins make up the majority of borrowing volume. And finally, we have the competitive landscape chart where we can compare Solend to other protocols by different metrics. For example, here we're comparing the borrowing volumes between Solend, Aave, Compound, Maple, and Centrifuge. And there you go. Solend was the first Solana application to be listed on Token Terminal, and we're looking forward to onboarding new projects from the Solana ecosystem in the near future. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. See you next time.